Hi, I'm Troy Bailey, and welcome to the Comic Book Movie Collector's Guide, the show about collecting all things superhero cinema. And today, we are looking at the 1943 Phantom Movie Serials. Let's get into it. The Phantom is a live-action superhero film serial totaling 15 chapters, each with a runtime of 18 minutes each. The first chapter was released in the theatres on the 24th of December 1943, with each following chapter being released each week thereafter for 15 weeks. The serials were released over the years on VHS on several different versions, but finally released on a double-disc DVD set by VCI Video in 2001, reusing the cover box art from the previous VHS release. It was then later released exclusively in Australia in 2005 on a different DVD edition with extra content, with no Blu-ray or 4K HD releases as of this video. It was directed by B. Reeves Eason and was written by Morgan Cox, Victor McLeod, Leslie Schwalbacher, Sherman L. Lowe, with the film being produced by Rudolf C. Flofau and distributed by Columbia Pictures. In 1955, Columbia Pictures started filming a sequel to The Phantom, this time with John Hart in the lead role, but Columbia's rights to the character had expired and owner King Features was unwilling to renew them, so the producer hastily transformed Return of the Phantom into The Adventures of Captain Africa, using stock footage from the original Phantom series. The film serial tells the story of two expeditions trying to reach the lost city of Zolos, one headed by a scientist and the other by a greedy treasure hunter. An agent of a foreign power also wants to establish a secret airbase there, so he stirs up the natives against the Phantom, who has been able to get them to stay peaceful for many years. When the Phantom is murdered, his son takes his place and sets out to restore peace to the jungle and stop the agents and the treasure hunters nefarious plans okay the disc and case so uh, i obviously have the australian version here of course uh and as you can see that like they said they've just used the movie poster that was the original movie poster they had for the serials um it's in a very thin uh, case kind of like a lot of american ones are not necessarily like our australian ones usually are um and not as you can see, they're, they're very limited with what photos, and they had, as, as I was trying to look for photos for this episode too, there's not a lot out there. So uh, I guess they did the best they could with what they had. Um, but, you know, it's not too bad. I don't like the look of it at all. And of course, inside, same thing, same picture again with the different episodes and the disc, of course, there with the Phantom logo, which looks nice. Uh, overall, not bad like for what it is and what they could put together not bad at all so uh for this one i'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. the story and script now for the fact that this is from the 40s the story it's not that bad it's compelling enough uh to keep you interested throughout uh the script itself is definitely it's definitely a thing of its time. There were a couple of occasions where I was like, ooh, ho, ho, you couldn't say that nowadays. Uh, especially in reference to the mindless savages that he rules over, being able to be talk, like, talk perfect English at one moment, and then the next minute they're, they're uh, talking in their native tongue and it's just like, ooga booga, ooga booga, and you're just like, oh no, that's just... <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure no research went into what language they would speak. Uh, it, was, it was pretty bad. Now with this being a cliffhanger serial, the end of every chapter ended with a surprise cliffhanger ending, and in the serial, it really revolves around the, the myth of the Phantom as the man that never dies, which they mention quite a bit throughout this thing. And at the end of every chapter, it looks like the Phantom's died only for it to start the next chapter, and then you see how he escaped his death, and he was all good to go. Now, 
with that the plot moves along during each episode but it always starts and finishes the same way with how did he die or how did he survive um but as repetitive as that seems to me i did watch the whole four hours worth in a row but if you're watching it each week like back in the day it wouldn't have seen seemed that way now i love the nostalgia of watching these old films and i was surprised how interesting the story was and how entertaining it, it would be but to watch it all in a row was a bit of a hard slog uh i would probably recommend watching this in like smaller chunks you know a few chapters each time but the ending was very and the ending oh, what can i say about that very anticlimactic which was a bit of a disappointment after watching four hours of it anyway but with that i probably would give this a 20 out of 30. From page to screen uh overall i think they did a really good job of the phantom uh from his costume which remember this was the 40s uh it was very comic book accurate and uh even the actor tom tyler he did a great job as the ghost who walks though there was one glaring thing that stuck out to me and that did not really sit well with me at all and that was the fact that in this movie he rules over the native tribes as this merciless ruler using cheap magic tricks to trick the natives into believing he's some sort of demigod and uh in their words easily fool the tribesmen uh because you know you need a white guy in a flamboyant costume to tell the native tribes of africa to uh how to be peaceful and uh, not fight with each other don't you oh oh god you gotta love the 40s don't you uh anyway in the comic books he is just uh he's just a guardian to the native people of bangala and he's there to help them and stop injustice and not to rule over them like a king um i did find that a bit off-putting but if you were to put that aside which was hard to do at times as it did come come up a bit throughout uh then he is a pretty reasonable rendition and uh ace the wonder dog as devil was great he i tell you i tell you what without him i think the man that never dies would have died a few times without his trusty friend saving his ass i'll tell you that right now <laughs> uh anyway the rest of the actors and characters were, were pretty standard for the time uh when they made this you know a lot of these uh jungle epics that were the popular thing of the time uh but i did find kenneth mcdonald as max bremer oh sorry dr max bremer a uh, really compelling villain he was one of the more standout actors in this serial so uh with that i will give this a 12 out of 20. special features so there's not a real lot of special features uh but i'll go through what we've got so on the u.s release there was a commentary track by writer max allen cummins for chapter one only as well as some actor bios photo gallery and some comic book art uh, and for this australian release it has an hour-long conversation between Fru publications chief and editor jim shepherd and film historian james sherlock about the history of the phantom comics and his various screen adaptations now this was dubbed over um, the first three chapters of the serial uh, in place of a commentary track and uh, not that it's a special feature but it is worth noting that much of the dialogue on chapter 11 uh, had to be redubbed by new actors because the original soundtrack on the film negative had been damaged due to just being stored for many many years so uh, with that overall not too bad uh, for what they could get their hands on I suppose so I will give that a six out of ten the critics review uh now for the critics score it came in at nothing and the audience score was 75 percent so there were no real reviews for any from any critics out there but there was three reviews from the audience side of things so for me i kind of think that's a fair score uh for what it is so if we round it up we get a score of eight out of ten my review so i did enjoy watching this uh but then again i love watching old movies and tv shows for the nostalgia it's like reading old golden age comics i i really get a kick out of reading those 
Uh, and this is very much well, what you would say the run of the mill for the 40s and 50s cinema of the time. And I was surprised as it did keep me interested though, like I said before, watching it in chunks and not all at once like I did. Um, now, it was funny in spots and not because it was supposed to be funny, but the acting and dialogue of the time was funny to watch compared to the flashy movies of now. But even with that, the story was pretty solid, but unfortunately the ending let it down. After four hours of chapters and watching this right to the end, it was so very short and sweet and it was very anticlimactic, a real, no real payoff, for, which was a real letdown. But if you're like me and enjoy old movies, you will get a kick out of this serial. So for me, I'm gonna give this a 16 out of 20. Final thoughts. So first up is collectability, of course, and we will look at the collector scale. And I would say this would be for your comic book geek and up. Uh, this would be very much for your serious collectors or your fans of the Phantom, but I would, it would not really have any sort of interest for your average comic book fan today. Um, really, this one is for you, um, for anyone really out there looking for some nostalgia value more than anything. Now, as far as availability is concerned, this one sits on the average side of things for both in the US and the Australian versions. They're not too hard to find, but you will have to look for them, and pretty much only online. Uh, I don't think you can get them at any of your retail outlets anymore, so check Amazon and check eBay if you want to grab a copy. Uh, as far as your average price goes, you're looking at, uh, say, for DVD, it does vary from as low as $10 to as high as $45. So shop around, uh, and of course there is no Blu-ray or 4K. Now, for the final score, we get a grand total of 69 out of 100. So not a bad score for the old timey serials. So if you love, your, love the Phantom, or you love your nostalgia, like me, then you are going to love this you should go out and grab yourself a copy. And so commands the Phantom, the man that never dies. Trust me, they mention it so many times. Well, it's fine, Drake. I'd almost begun to believe that bunk myself about the Phantom being immortal. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, why not hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons, as it really helps the channel out. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the serial or whether you've picked up a copy for your collection. Also, if you would like to request a review or you want to see something else on this channel, by all means, please contact me via email at comicbookmoviecollector at gmail.com or you can hit me up on the socials at comicbookmoviecollector on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All the links will be down below. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.